Okay, so I'm going to share my screen. So can you see my screen, Manuel? Manuel, can you can you see my screen? Okay, yeah. Yes, oh. I can. I can. Sorry, I was on mute. Yeah, can you see the changing of the by slide? Okay. You okay. may want to put it in full projection yeah. mode. I don't know. Yeah, I will do that. Okay, so I'm going to start today's webinar. So thank you for attending for today's webinar because uh, there is a is a different time zone from from it at the end is India to the eastern part of the the United States. So I'm not sure whether you're maybe in the mostly in the good morning and then summer in the good evening. And then, so our today's topic is a very broad topic that uh, ESC sustainability and metaverse integrative integration of the convergence. Okay, so I'm Alex Lee. That as you can see, that uh, my current focus is to the today's topic. Through the here is one more the component here, but the ESC sustainability and digital transformation metaverse. Actually, the, the metaverse the digital transformation is very closely related. And then ESC sustainability is to the digital transformation. Actually, is a, a, I'm actively working on to, to integrating two part. So uh, this is uh, uh, maybe the more than like, I, I did more than uh, 10 times, dozen of the this topic last year and only this year. So maybe I can share the all the, my recording and then presentation is out there. So I will share the, the information later. Okay, so today's agenda, you can see that, but I, I found that because I, I try to reduce uh, as as much I, I can do, but there, because of the today's topic is so broad. So only way it is to just to make a small point in here, but basically I I want to deliver the, every aspect of the ESG sustainability and then in between digital transformation and metaverse, especially that I'm going to focus on more in metaverse is a, is a recent trend and then recent hot topic. And then and then and then sustainability and then ESG transformation is side is maybe some maybe not familiar because uh, because this is a so broad topic so it's rarely to touch that this horse call but I'm going to touch the most fundamental aspect of the ESG sustainability and then and then how they actually relate to digital transformation and then mostly I'm going to share my time to in the metaverse, usually that I'm going to show the like a traditional ways to do, and then also the the topic tree that I did a lot of intense research and study last year and then this year. So some of the topic maybe you you never seen in in other place. So mostly like a ESG uh, the metaverse economic system that I I, I develop, and also like for example that. Uh, experience economy uh, stock also is uh, the topic that you never seen about it. And then I'm going to finally the, the focus of today's topic that uh, how they actually the integrate uh, the ESG sustainability and meta convergence as a, like a, I, I name as a meta sustainability that I, this will be the hot, uh, main topic that I'm going to in, in the end. Okay, so first topic is ESG sustainability imperative. So this topic is also is very hard and very broad scope. And then and then United States and then European country already somewhat established, and then Asian country uh, is is try to, to implementing this scheme. Okay, so I tried. To, Summarize in one page what the current status. I, I call it imperative. That means that it is it is the situation that every company and and the institution and then government and globally accepted as you should do, right? Is you should do 
for the people, society, planet, and in our earth. So the first will be the in the global level. The, this in the United States, uh, United Nations, in the effort to to make our us as a sustainable development goals to up to the year uh, 2030. And then so they developed the 17 areas, uh, mostly relate to like, for example, the economic like prosperity, and then also how you protect your environment, and then how you protect your like a social value, like a human uh, like a right or the human resources and, and then other uh, related social like values. And then also somehow you can actually collaborate for that, like uh, how you how you like manage this, uh, this sustainability, uh, uh, sustainable development goals. And then also in the global level, we are very active, uh, for example, last year in UK, we have uh, like, uh, uh, like uh, all of the world, the like a summit in in the like a global leaders gather in 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 UK. They talk about how we can like, respond to the climate change, and then recent report about the IPCC report that we we need to be should attend attention have our attention to these uh, global like issues to how we, how you manage your like a global warming and then and then and then every every country and globally they they. They want to reduce their carbon yeah, emission, uh, usually called GHG emission, and then and then they want to reduce dramatically to to like uh, avoid this high temperature situation to affect our us in the significant way. And also, you may have recently heard about like circular economy that uh, they want to reduce like waste, like a plastic. Based is a, is a, is a significant effect to the, like our, our ocean environment or something like that, and then also like in the global in the in, in the in the economic uh, like a uh, like global commission like uh, for example Davos uh, like a forum and the mention about how they actually do to to collaborate to for, to to get attention from uh, from this kind of the like global issues. And then also European uh, Commission have, have that committee for to look at in the collaboratory. And then also United States, this is a recent news that uh, because uh, because they want to the the every every like a uh, company in the like uh, in the public market, they need to disclose their how they actually manage their uh, like uh, climate uh, like risk related issues. And that they want to be in, in the mandatory disclosure related to like the disclosure of the, the how they manage the climate change risk in, in, in SEC. They're they are now voting now. And then also in the US side, uh, Joe Biden actually recently got huge amount, one point two trillion dollars to to rebuild like uh, infrastructure as a sustainable infrastructure infrastructure that to looking at uh, this climate change and other like uh, sustainability issues. And then also the activities in the investing side that ESG asset maybe hit like a $53 trillion by the 2000, uh, like uh, 25. And then, and then there are many type of the like uh, uh, investing uh, scheme. And then uh, some are maybe impact investing and the other is the ES investing. And there are many types of the investing side and then and then they will be rich like in the global like uh, asset under management means that the, the investment fund will be reach one third of the global like uh, level in, in nearby in the year 2025 and then also in for example in the private sectors that the huge amount will be the investing so they call like is investing is mainstream and then uh, according to like uh, these activities, there is a movement that uh, they want to be like a standard accounting framework that like you have like a generally, generally accepted principle accounting, you, you report your accounting activities uh, through the, this kind of the framework. So we, we still uh, have a lot of maybe the, doesn't is the standard way to actually the, the standardization bodies actually they recommended their ways to to actually reporting your like a sustainability accounting 
but uh, we are now in a one unified uh, uh, like uh, entity try to, to to integrate all the scheme as one now and then and then you you can look at it in the like in how about the business leave you that uh, sustainable business went mainstream so so this is uh, imperative even in the like a board level and the executive meeting is a top main topic in your everyday practice of your business and then also like a lady think defend the stakeholder capital means the lady think is a brand like CEO is a, one of the biggest to like asset management firm in the United States. And then you may heard about the day they want that if you are not in, in the like a, uh, like a, a participating that reducing your carbon emission or other like ES issues, they will be not providing an, any like investing fund. So, so, and then he talked about the stakeholder capitalism, and that means that this is the one, actually the one example in the Apple website that the, 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 the company's purpose is not no longer to like for the shareholders, but that they want to be like with the stakeholder, including shareholders. So it is a, it's a changing trend in, in the global level, in, in, in the government and the institutional and then individual company level. So this uh, have in mind, and then, and then in the, especially we are very serious about this greenhouse gas emission and then, and then climate change. So uh, maybe it, it is good to wear this uh, carbon generated and then mostly in the energy use, for example, like energy generation, like electricity generation or the using the like heating or the cooling. And then also a huge amount of like a, uh, related like carbon emission is uh, like a transportation and then also in the factory manufacturing and and then also you can think about like agriculture so so this is the source of the your the carbon emission and then and then you you should think about how we can actually you deduce to your carbon emission emission in in every part of your business and then your your institution or serious. Um, here is one, uh, I'm not going to detail about the ESG and the sustainability matters, because, uh, but uh, I think that whenever you think about ESG sustainability, then, then you think about the, what the risk with this ESG sustainability and then what is the opportunity and what is the impact. So three pack factors you need to think about. Okay. And then, and then I'm going to talk about ESG digital transformation in creative. So, so basically, I'm in digital uh, area. I'm uh, 30 years experience in in IT, telecom, and digital recently. And then, and then, in based on my uh, background and in in and in on the top actually that I'm putting in the ESG, and then I will explain why I'm going to to integrate the tool. Okay, so what is the ESG digital integrated transformation that uh, I'm calling ESG DX? So this is a, a like integration ways to like, a, for example, ESG to like a, to integrate the digital transformation to transform sustainability management, sustainable investing, and sustainable development in innovative ways. So you maybe know about the fundamentally that all digital technology like AI, blockchain, and everything will be the catalyst of the ESG DX. And then, and then it will be related to like, for example, industry 4.0 and the fourth industrial revolution is based on this technology. And then ESG also will be the, will be the significant lower in, in, the, in the coming post industrial revolution. So that's why I'm, I'm combining two. So uh, another reason is that uh, this is one actually the, the statistics that they surveyed through the old continent. And then they surveyed like, uh, like around 5,000 like, uh, like executive to doing their social ESG management. And then, and then uh, the interesting thing is that the, uh, why you doing why you like adopt the social business practice and mostly in, in like, for example, extra, external pressure like the government or the investors or the stakeholders. 
and then also internally that they, they they think about like for example the new generation they want to favor like eco-friendly product or service or something like that but uh but rarely they think about the doing esg sustainability as a, like a, for example like a growth engine or levity potential so the mostly they think about that ESG sustainability management is uh, why why they're doing it. it's not not for the growth of the the revenue potential but actually the the main even the stakeholder uh, like a uh, stakeholder like a capitalism the 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 way actually the you do your business is for you like a profit or revenue or growth of your company so so mostly they think about this as a cost factor and then only they think about they recover this course in a long term, in a like a non-financial, mostly non-financial way, like for example, reputation, brand, and other other like intangible ways you get in the long term. So this is where this is why it is very difficult to like still adopt a completely like a, a implement this ESG sustainability as a, your everyday business practice. And then so so the they found that actually the the digital transformation as you see the, the we are in the nearly at the end of the COVID-19 and then and then after the COVID-19 as you see that with the digital transformation is accelerated because you it's our June meeting is the one example that all will be the digital in in the in the near future so so as uh, so this transformation is also imperative not required uh, is uh, not mandatory but is voluntary like adopted by the many many like institution company because of the digital transformation is imperative is a trend and then you have them to especially for the, their growth and then revenue potential right so uh, so for example if you do both Combining actually that there is a more higher potential that you will be the, the market leader in, in the near future. So this is a motivation that uh, uh, we have a professional group in, in like a dozen professionals uh, working on this uh, uh, like a topic. And then so 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 we are not trying to do how how actually the best way to implementing this like a ESG and DX integrated scheme. And then also here is, a, for example, that why you consider in, in digital transformation in, in the related to like a carbon emission, what we call decarbonization. So usually the, the many companies and the many institutions, many nations the declare that they want to be like reduce their carbon emission to zero in, in up to the year 2050. So it's called net zero transition commission. So, so, so this is the one thing that we, we need to like reserve and then and at the digital transformation scheme that you can see that, for example, in the, in the World Economic Forum, in the there was an article about the digital technology can cut globalization by 15%. So even you do your digital transformation, then you can reduce a lot in the, your carbon emission. And then also the the digital twin is one of the uh, like a digital technology that I'm going to introduce later, and the digital twin only can actually reduce a lot of the like uh, your carbon emission and save your cost. And then maybe uh, today's topic is about the the metaverse, and then and then you you see that the metaverse is. Uh, uh, one of the the big big tech companies also is a part of this development, and the Nvidia is one of them. And then Nvidia, they have a they have a, like a, a many type of the different type of the in the metaverse uh, the development. And then recently they announced that they want to make a digital twin of the the simulators to project climate change is one of the. The, the relationship between the like metaverse and and then the sustainability ESC especially related to the climate change. Okay. So this is what we are doing. So we look at that. Uh, okay. So the ESC sustainability is imperative, and then corundrum is means that even that the every company and every executive board members accept that ESG sustainability they should do in the, their business practice 
But even with that, there is a, some contradiction, like, for example, that the MIT, like uh, the paper, uh, some magazine paper talk about that, the, the contrary to the, dislike the stakeholder capitalism, the shareholders pressure that the CEOs usually tend to be like a fire because of their low, lower in the like a uh, profit, like a uh, uh, performance compared to the, like a uh, ESG sustainable uh, like a uh, performance because of the, because the ESG sustainability is, uh, is, uh, is the long-term like a performance uh, return. And then, and then profit is the short term. So there is some contract and then CEOs tend to, for example, you listen to Unilever, like a CEO brain by the like a shareholders that there are too much the focus on social ESG but policies uh, matters that actually the, they they decline in in their like a stock market like uh, the performance or something like that so the usually the CEOs are usually tend to like uh, more weigh on the short term profit rather than in the sustainability so, so actually, the, this is a topic we are going to have another uh, webinar in this at the end of this month. Uh, how actually the, we also developed the, our our ways to uh, balancing these two schemes. How you balance your sustainability and the profitability in in a, in a some uh, better way, and then and the, usually the, the trend is the greenwashing. So, so, so the, this is the easiest way to actually the, you like rob of your your performance activities then you actually the, you you did not achieve actually but you you disclose that you you done fan, fantastic way to do your, like a sustainability esg like a, a management performance but uh, this is also another issue that it's that's why the sec in the united states want to be mandatory disclosure to be legally bound when you when you just disclose in a fault uh, ways that actually the, you will be punished about that. And then also, uh, I already mentioned that the ESG transformation is uh, imperative. And then also that, uh, why are you doing? Because uh, recently that there is a trend, proposed like a company. So proposed company means that you are doing a, doing a good thing and doing a right thing. The doing a good thing means that you you do sustainable. You doing a right thing means that you pursue the person uh, like a profitability, and then and then the proposed company means that you do both, right? So so by this like a like current situation actually we developed like how you like uh, do much better. So we develop like a ESTX framework so doing some how you develop in the like innovate your business model and then we provide us a scheme that so um, I'm, we recently have a, a white paper about this one so i'm going to share later about our effort okay uh, finally metaverse revolution okay so metaverse revolution means here that um this is the one uh Maybe uh, some of you are from South Korea, and then and then and then and then you may uh, maybe not uh, not in the South Korea, maybe not familiar with how how this metaverse uh, is hot and uh, was a boom in South Korea starting from maybe the last summer, but now is uh, is once uh, like a Mark Zuckerberg, the, they announced that they they changed their their company name as Meta, and then they they want to like uh, deploy the this Metaverse venture, and then and then he declared that like uh, for example, the within ten years, that every every like a uh, people uh, the use like use in the Metaverse device in ten years later like like the use in the smartphone in, in today. So after the actually, the, I look at the, uh, the trend because I started also my webinar from last summer. And then, and then at the time was that there was uh, not many cases or not many like uh, media spot about this metaverse. Now it's doesn't. Uh, no, it's, it's a lot, it's a hundred. You can you just a metaverse type in Googling. There are hundred articles and cases and news in even in the eastern part of the like for example in the United States and the European country is uh, is, so 
this is a low longer is a tough hot topic in, in in the South Korea. And then I, I also uh, heard about the, the China is very active and Singapore is very active and then Japan is very active. So so is a is a global rivalry is a very very hot topic and then this is a real deal because uh, because uh, even in the like uh, several months ago many people like uh, say that like oh metaverse is uh, is a skepticism and then and then is is not really clear and it's just too long away no i i, I think that the, the trend is changes so nobody will be asked about the whether metaverse will, Still, I found that some I'm still doing is a is a is a fundamental is whether it's a what is a metaverse. I'm not going to talk about detail about what is metaverse because a metaverse is like a digital. Uh, you is a, is now is accepted in in the like a, in the community. So so for example, that even the Newsweek have a hot uh, like a issue focus about the metaverse and that they introduce a law block. Loblox is one of the like uh, the 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 famous uh, metaverse platform. Is uh, the they can do some get, uh, game or so they like a social gathering, and then they coin a term like a creative economy, like uh, generating some games or artifact or the sell you saw the NFT, and then also the Microsoft or so the announced that they they want to be metaverse and they they acquire the big. A game company and then also they developing based on their Azure cloud platform. And then also you can see that many companies like Apple, Google, and other companies, and then even the, the famous media have uh, the exposure of these metaverse topics. And then and then and then application, then many companies actually don't know that they they want to do some like a related enterprise wise, industry wise, not just for the game or the media, like in the industry or the enterprise wise application of the metaverse. For example, like JP Morgan recently opened a bank branch in the metaverse, and then also Boeing. And the, they're 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 designing their alpha in the metaverse in the collaborative platform. And then also Walmart is the retail, and then they're preparing the metaverse store. And also like a consumer electronics, Samsung, they they uh, they trying to apply for the home appliance, and then also they have a like a metaverse store in in this central end, and the, this is a like a virtual store, the uh, like a physical store store uh, like uh, in in New York, and also you, it it can apply the the healthcare. And then also like, uh, for example, in the automotive, in the, sh the showroom, in the like Hyundai and other like, uh, and then also they can apply the smart factory, like uh, other like uh, uh, automotive company, like a uh, Nissan and other uh, European, uh, like a uh, uh, BMW or the other companies also, they, they adopt this uh, metaverse opportunity deploying in the showroom or the, in the, the, the metaverse factory is establishment and also in the very big in the activities in the the fashion industry and then they talk about the like a metaverse the fashion and then they want to be led to some some way to like innovate their business model so and then also in the entertainment disney also actively working on like making the metaverse theme park to like uh, to like uh, in link to their like a, a physical theme park uh, so you can see that uh, now is new in any kind of the, the company or the industry actually the adopt these metaverse opportunities. Uh, this is, uh, I tried to summarize one page. Uh, I usually that uh, I, this is, I, I'd like to, to summarize what in one page to very complicated way, but uh, I'm not going to introduce this one. But you can see that later in the recording about this design. So I'm 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 going to say you that one point is metaverse is not just a virtual. So so some understanding is that many people does, does say like a, it's like a low blocks or the like a, for example the horizon by the matter or the like a decentralized rain and then you sell your like a land the virtual rain. This is a mostly virtual, but 
the only the real maybe the some way like a you through the, your avatar and then you participate other through your their avatar participate so humans can interact through their avatar but actually it's it's not just that the any physical entities can enter and then mostly for example digital twin have a there as a physical twin and the digital twin can participate they can be linked this is a very important concept and and then you can use in the developing new business opportunity and then also you already know that the, this augmented reality means that the overlap of your virtual thing to your physical space but you can think about the other way like for example so so i can define like a, a metaverse is a physical virtual composite augmented world the augmented by the, the other space so this space the virtual space will be augmented by the, the real space physical space and the physical space will be augmented by the virtual space so this is will be you have in mind it has a more broader scope and then they have a more broader uh, potential that that generate the new business opportunity and other okay this is one actually the the uh, the the current situation of the, for example, there are a lot of people are interested in the when the Apple will will produce their metaverse XR device usually the Apple Grass. And then I look at the, their pattern and then and then they're almost there. They're looking for the opportunity to to make this as a, like a commercial product in the near future. Okay, so metaverse economic system. So uh, actually the, the metaverse I mentioned that the they are the convergence of the fiscal and and the virtual space in an augmented way. So, so they will be extend our fiscal e economic system to virtual and the virtual economic system to, to the fiscal economic system. They will combine in a like synergetic way. So I call this is a metaverse ecosystem. So, so this is one actually the the most majority talk about the metaverse. They don't uh, they don't like uh, think about like uh, the combining like a physical economy, but usually the what the focus is like a virtual like a creative economy. So this is the current the trend that like for example that in the restaurant and then also like a virtual and the sale and other topics actually you, you can look at the nft say or does they all relate to like uh, in the virtual space so usually the some people are confused about the metaverse as a web version 3 but the web version 3 is, is a web based on like a decentralized scheme usually the decentralized scheme is also related to blockchain so the so some many people even the expert confused about the metaverse is a web Three is web three is related somehow. For example, if you want to be like completely like anonymous, big, big, for example, that you you want to be like a no government entity to operate your metaverse space, then it, it should be like completely autonomous. Uh, and then it's, it should be like operated by the anyone. Then you can build up your metaverse space on your decentralized way. And then and that way, actually, the web three. And then also like uh, like a decentralized by the blockchain, and then every every aspect of the like uh, decentralization will be involved. But metaverse is much bigger than that. So I'm I'm going to explain why. But but most majority now the trend is that they only confine on this like a blockchain and then NFT and then something like that. But actually, they, as I told you. The other side, we have a physical space and then physical economics also can be related because of two sides are related. So, so they will be the much bigger like a, a market potential and economic potential that I'm explaining. So I I'm, I'm look at the, uh, the in the future that this this virtual the oriented like metaverse space will combust with like a real space physical space economic. And then I can I can I can make some scheme. So I will look at the, what is the component of the economic system. So so for example, the you need the the person like a, like a, the people will be the entity of the economic activity. And then and then and then so if you if you want to join in the the virtual spaces through your avatar, 
And then you need some unique identity, right? So I'm, I'm looking at the, like, for example, in blockchain space, uh, many people talk about the, how you have an identity is uh, uh, they call decentralized identification or self-sovereign identity. But anyway, so you can think about this one. And then also you need some medium of exchanges toward the value. So you need the money, like a, like a physical space, the fiat currency, and then and then virtual space mostly maybe think of what is like a uh, cryptocurrencies like blockchain, uh, like a blockchain based like a fiat currency like a Bitcoin or the Ethereum token or something like that. But uh, we can also think about like for example that uh, like a CBDC is a, is a central bank like a digital currency that I, I heard about that. Uh, recently in, in the Beijing Olympic that the, the, the older currency used in the, in the uh, Chinese government issued the CBDC. So this will be the, some trend in the future. So this might be one, one unified currency in, in, the, in the future metaverse economic system or maybe some other like a universal cryptocurrencies. And then you need uh, some banking or finance institution as I, I mentioned, for example, that the, the JP Morgan they open their bank, and then and then so so in in the like in the decentralized way, and then and then they will be like a decentralized finance as we call DeFi. So this will be related, and then you need some asset, right? For example, in in the like a valuable asset of goods, and the for the most free in the they will be represented by the NFTs. So the metaverse value and the right. Some of the like intellectual property right or ownership right will be represented by the NFTs, and then also like uh, for example your fiscal like asset like a real asset the present so will be represented by the digital twins. So digital twin is a uh, like a digital representation of your fiscal entities, and then an NFT is a digital representation of the your uh, like a uh, entities or the your properties value. So to represent whole asset or the goods in the metaverse ecosystem. And then you also need some common system like a marketplace, exchange delivery, real asset goods or exchange of the currencies. So you need some common system. So based on this, I build up some, this is one example that uh, in the future, like auto industry. So, uh, so for example, that uh, here that's a trend that many like automotive companies, they open their showroom in 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 some in the metaverse space. So it's a butcher store, and then they are in the future they will be related to your physical store here. And then also, uh, for example, that also these manufacturers also they have a physical like a, a manufacturing system factory. And then also they have a butcher twin factory here that will be related in the future. And then, and then you can think about the, how they actually the generate the economic system. So, so let, let's just think about the, some, some metaverse commerce here, activities here. So, so you join as an avatar. So you're the buyer uh, avatar with the DID. And then here is the seller. So you are other, people uh, to join as a uh, avatar as a seller right and then and then you're you join you uh, visit to your the metaverse the voucher store and then and then look at your whatever your favorite your automotive here is the, I, I just have image in the Hyundai and then and then so you you can try in the virtual way then whether you is fitting to your your comfortable whatever that you want it and then you finally decide that you're like, what are your spec options? What the colors? What what type of car you want? And then and then the thing that happened is that actually that you have a deal, and then and then and then you pay the like a final contract value, and then and then so actually that you will provide the NFT for your digital twin car. So you will have in the virtual space have a the ownership right in the virtual space. And then, and then, and then usually the, in the physical space, you, you finance your car, you, you do not pay, mostly you do not pay in the lump sum money at one time. And then usually the, you pay some amount and then you, you allocate your like last as a, like a financing. So for example, this is where actually you 
you have an NFT here, and then you provide this NFT to the, your virtual bank. And then they, they utilize the NFT in the DeFi system to make like earnings, like interest or something like that. And then they provide the financing your money in the digital space. And then also that once they decide, actually the, you ask your manufacturer about the, what is, what, what type of the car you want. Like for example, that like, like uh, the, the Tesla, that you you visit your Tesla like a showroom actually that you can you can uh, select your your car and then usually the they they have like a three D printing manufacturing system so they can they can have your like option and on site so in your like a factory you customize it for yourself and then and then and then in the in the actual space actually the you don't want this this a twin car you want actual car. And then how actually the, they need to cross your deal through delivery, delivery of your actual car to you, right? In the physical space. And then, and then at the delivery, you, you will have actual certification of title ownership to you. And then, and then, and then some, some actually the, some issue is that actually the, you get this cyber currency here and then, and then, how you can realize in real currency? That's why that uh, you need some some way to realization. And then, and the currency is, is only ways if you get the one is through the like uh, exchange, like a cyber currency exchange. You need to like uh, change it to to real currency. But in the future, there will be some unified mechanism that actually that you can use. Like for example, the CDBC is uh, you don't you don't need to. This tile also you can use in the fiscal, so you don't need to any realization. Actually, you can you can like uh, use that as a like a real money. So in the future, that uh, this will be the one of the like uh, economic system. So this can apply many different type of the like a uh, like a uh, commerce in in the retail or the other commerce system. Then utilize this one. So I, I just uh, make made the song. Okay, so metaverse experience economy. This is the, the recent topic that I, I try to do, have a better way actually to, to like generate because many people uh, talk about the, the metaverse it will be the like uh, generate the trillion dollar, the hundred trillion dollars new economy. And then, and then they, they, they think about this one, like as a, uh, the only day based on this butcher, eh? but I in, include this one as a more extended way, is a more bigger market. And, and top of actually the, whether and any type of the like a more value generate this based on this metaverse experience. So, so this is one actually that I'm going to have a separate webinar in, in two weeks. So I'm, I'm going to share the, uh, the information if you're interested in, and then so, uh, so what is concept? This is a, is a coin by the seminar book, is uh, the experience economy is published by the Harvard Business Review Press. And then, and then they look at the, like how the actually the value changes over the like a trend. So for example, that uh, in the industrial, like uh, for, this, this is all related to your industrial revolution. So for example, that in the like a second, the, like uh, for in the like a, uh, the based on in the goods and then in uh, they changing to the service and then so whenever you're changing so this is a uh, they call customization of the goods to deliver to you as a service and then and then by doing actually the your your market prices will, will be changes so they will be add more economic value over this one so so you will be the more and more, more competitive position if you you if doing. And then and the finally you have a transformation of based on your experience is a fundamentally you are targeting in the future. And then and then in the doing actually the digital transformation in one one way to you can you can do it and other maybe other different ways you can do it. So uh, I look at this the uh, one actually, the, uh, this is my recently I summarize all every aspect of this one. I'm because I I wanna 
like uh, like integrate this this uh, idea with metaverse experience. I'm going to explain later. So so I summarize this one, and then I, I I'm, I'm looking for the what's the some systematic way to to adopt this experience economy to the metaverse economy. So so to understand this, you need to understand uh, what is what is the metaverse experience means what the metaverse actually provide the new user experience i i, I name it as a mux and then i i look at all the like a uh, enable uh, potential like uh, the experience can provide by the metaverse that i based on the current current trend and the current employment and the current like uh, like uh, so, uh, implementation and also future potential and then, and then I, I found that the, this side of the immersive reality experience, like you use, for example, XR device or the immersive ex reality experience, maybe like a, some, like, a, for example, using the gamification, other, other ways metaverse can have it. And also like a, for emotional, like enhanced emotional experience, like a, for the sense of presence is one of, one of the activities. And also like, a, the active realistic interaction, the participation, and influencing each other, like uh, like through the avatar, and then and then cross connect experience, like I I call uh, like a uh, uh, internet or digital twin that I, I I call it. So the all the like uh, digital things and then physical things are integrated. For example, that if you if you wear like your like for example wearable device from for for example Apple. And then if you look at if you look at some Apple device in in the in the real space, and then because uh, the, this Apple device have uh, their corresponding digital digital part in the metaverse space, they are related. So what happened is that actually the you can control your physical device in the metaverse, and then also that you can play your for example you have a speaker the Apple speaker. And then you have a, like a, your Apple space in your home, and then you, you through your metaverse device, you have a you have a, you can play your physical uh, like a speaker in the metaverse. The way actually you can do is to they should be connected through through like a digital twin, and then they can be like identified by this metaverse device, and then there will be the seamless like a, a transition between the physical and real space. And then I call the cross-connected experience is possible. And then also like, for example, Metaverse Horizon, they provide a collaborative experience. For example, the, like uh, uh, NVIDIA, the Omnibus also collaborative uh, like uh, experience that they provide. And then also like, uh, for example, co-creation that I mentioned that the, the, the customers uh, can participate in your like creation activity, like for example, in your smart factory that they, they can be participate in the design of the new product. And then also uh, like, uh, for example, the virtual commerce monetizing expertise. So, so you, can, you can create for the like a uh, valuable thing and then you can, you can sell it, you can earn money. So there will be the new experience you can have it. And then, and then I, I define like a metaverse business opportunities, how you can actually integrate the metaverse use case with like a different type of application. And then I, I name it here Q, but actually the, you can apply any, any like industrial business, like media, advertising, healthcare, education, manufacturing, and everything here. And then I, I just make this one, the, the, the difference between the, if someone may be uh, familiar with IoT, IoT is a connection of the, here is a real entity. So real things are connected through the, your internet. And then internet product is, uh, is a, this is a virtual thing. So you bought all virtual things uh, connected in, in the like internet. And then in the internet with digital twin means that the, all physical and the virtual things are connected through this digital twin connection. So uh, I'm not going to talk about this much, but I'm going to talk about detail in the, my uh, different webinar. So, so, so how you can reach your the new experience economy based on your uh, metaverse business model, based on this metaverse user experience.
Okay, so finally we have, uh, because I, I explain enough all the like basics to you understand uh, what is the ESS authority and the metaverse, and then I will talk about how they convert. Okay, so this is one example that, for example, the metaverse can, can use for the renewable energy system, because of, for example, RE100 maybe, if you are in the like climate change or the sustainability side, you, you may heard about this. So RE100 means that completely renewable and energy source use company declare that they want to use their electric source as all renewable. So, so energy, like a renewable energy is very important. And then, and then, and then you need to like manage this system is in an optimal way in, in a like a like a somewhat productive way and then the way actually you can do is i, I just uh, have a like a how they actually, actually implement use in the current system for example that this is the one you can using the like for microsoft azure cloud-based platform plus their mixed reality like a device and you can you can have a, like a digital twin of the your like a, a renewable energy system and then put into this system to your metaverse collaborator system. So uh, export or some operating manager to join this and then they control in the mode. So this is why that they are related to digital twin. And then you can control virtually or so you can control virtually can be fractured to your control you're in the physical space. So this is the one example that the metaverse can be integrated to you like a sustainability through this like a management of your renewable energy system. Okay, so second, maybe the like a metaverse tour can be used for the sustainable product. Sustainable product means that the, from the starting from the raw material to the like uh, the end, like in whether it be used or they maybe be the like a discarded in the waste they will be in you know, a manage they will be like uh, operate in a sustainable way so we call the end to end uh, the sustainable management so so for doing that actually the metaverse story is one example for example the metaverse is provided a customer with a digital twin connected 3d virtual world the customer can interact in real time and then and, and the 24 hours seven days and then all of the year with digital environment, they're uh, using their personal avatar. And then metaverse stores can create a more immersive experience for customers. So here is one example, like for example, some cosmetic companies or the like uh, some uh, apparel company or the retail store, they they have their the their their uh, metaverse store. And then, and then, and the current tree is a uh, they are uh, mostly virtual, but in the future, they will be connected to the uh, physical space or their digital twin. And then, and then, and then store manager can uh, free test the product before actually producing or, or the perform smart inventory shipping product life cycle management or the, so, and the reduce number of operation on physical store. So by doing that, actually the, what, what can, can be related is the, by doing that, actually, the, you do like a, like a sustainable product management. So you can you can like reduce the low material energy water, and then and then reduce the use of the like for example reduce the GHG emission, and then also like a less uh, like a produce the waste and increase the reuse or recycling manufacturing risk. So, so is, this is one example that you combine with the metaverse with your sustainability through this metaverse tour and then you can produce sustainable product. Okay, this is one other example that you throw the your metaverse factory, then you can do sustainable manufacturing supply chain. So 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 for example, automotive like all the like your process like a manufacturing system. And then and then uh, you're like uh, for your supply chain management, you can you can uh, have a, like in a sustainable way. So metaverse uh, factory provide immersive 3D collaborative platform. So combined with digital twin technology with real time and the history data from your IoT streams and the metric system and other enterprise system. So Metaverse Factory can enable your smart design and the factory planning for optimizing the management process and then, and then smart supply chain management. 
So, so by doing actually that you can also do it, uh, reduce the raw material energy water use and the GHG emission less. Uh, so you can you can do the and additionally you can reduce your carbon footprint in your supply chain. So if you are in in sustainability and then climate change area, actually the the carbon footprint to destroy is mandatory. There are three types of the carbon footprint. One is uh, you generate through your own business activities. And, and the other is indirectly you generate carbon by the buying the electricity because uh, in, in the source side that they, they generate carbon. And the third is uh, through the like, uh, not just the boundary of your, your company, but the boundary to extend it to your whole your supply chain. And then they, they usually call in the scope three and you need to, to provide that, that disclosure. So, so, so by doing that, actually the even you can extend the, you know, like a sustainability activity to your supply chain, they call sustainable supply chain management. Okay, so you can also do in the, in, even in the like a city level. So you can construe the older, like a, in the construction, you can build up your metaverse in, and also like a smart cities, including the metaverse digital twin city. And then, and then, as I told you that you can put this metaverse digital twin to your metaverse collaborative system, or the you you can like for your designers and then construction uh, engineers or the managers can collaborate to build up design, build up and operating your smart city. And then, and then metaverse can be used in a, in a many different ways to like operating your like smart city, like a metaverse seating. A city living lab, so, so citizens participate in the operation of your your like a metaverse uh, smart cities, and then they will be provide a commercial commerce portal, and then service portal, and then also like a they they uh, like a use as IR PR portal. Like for example, the, if if you are in the travel is your main yeah the industry, then you can promote your like a city wide travel through this metaverse portal. Okay, finally, that uh, in the like a financing, the metaverse uh, NFT DeFi based sustainable financing is enabled. So in the in the virtual space, I already talked about that the combining NFT and DeFi, they can use as a for example banking system, or the you can utilize like a financing. So so for example, they they relate to like a sustainable uh, like a issues like green fund in. Usually, the they fund to like, for example, green transportation and green buildings and renewable energy system and the waste management system, and so so actually, the you can you can invest this like green fund through this metaverse sustainable financing system. So, uh, so this is one way actually the how you can implement. So you can combine the NFT DeFi for sustainable financing method. So, so this is one example that. You can tokenize, this, for example, asset like a solar power credit or wind farm or carbon credit, whatever that relate to this green fund. And then also uh, like a project, like a green infrastructure, like a infrastructure, like the sustainable infrastructure relate to the your like a SOC or the like a smart city. And then, and then you can tokenize as a fungible token, ES20 or the non-fungible token like NFT. And then for the like a fungible token, you can use as a, like a, as a source for the like a, your DeFi, and then and then you can like utilizing financial system as it is, or you can you can use an NFT and then and an NFT is a little bit uh, like a not liquid uh, compared to the like a fungible tokens, but it can be like a use also at the same as in the collector and then put into the smart contract in the DeFi system. And then, and then you can utilize in finance system using this like a DeFi system based on this NFT. So, so I provide one example that maybe there are many different ways actually that you can utilize in your, your metaverse system to for providing like sustainable financing, like a ways to, to supporting your like a sustainability and, and green ways to, to activities through this uh, new type of the financing system. Okay, so I done everything. So I will stop my sharing. So um, 
I did a lot of topic, but I try to uh, deliver as much as uh, information that, that that I can I can have. So why don't you have some some time like for example maybe uh, maybe 10, 10 minutes or something if you if your time available to have a discussion of the Q and A time I'm gonna have. So if you have any questions or any comment or you wanna discuss anything that then just pre. Uh, please participate for this discussion or topic or training session. Is there any question or comment or you want to discuss something? Alex, uh, a, a lot of things to, to ask and trying to figure out where to start. But earlier in the presentation, you mentioned that um, metaverse is not Web three or something. No, metaverse is the web. It may be the metaverse include Web three, but not equal. Yeah. So metaverse is. Can you can you give maybe an example or a little bit more? Details if, if you if you have it at your fingertips right now. If not, we can discuss. Uh, sorry, the, the metaverse is you can you can develop metaverse in in any space in any any internet, right? But if you want to be like a decentralized, like for example, decentralized is a decentralized uh, like a metaverse platform, right? And then uh, decentralized then you, you need to some way to develop in the decentralized way, right? And then, and then Web3 is a concept of uh, developing your web based on decentralization, right? And then they are also related to blockchain, right? So, so, so confusing is that some people just uh, think about like a metaverse equal Web3 equal blockchain. No, no, they are related, right? But they are different, but they are related. And then, and then in the like, for example, that I can say that like a uh, Web three blockchain are uh, some overlap, but some different part, right? Metaverse. Maybe allow. Yeah. Allow me to say it this way. So as you said, you can do metaverse with different web technologies, two, three. Uh, but if you want to have a decentralized web, which uh, allows also things like blockchain and so on as, as uh, technologies or as, as uh, applications, then uh, this is the ideal combination between metaverse and decentralized. Yeah. So it's metaverse. Okay. Thank you very much. So actually the, that's a practical implementation, right? Because uh, for example, you want to, for example, you want to be open like a metaverse, right? Because uh, in the blockchain, you, you may know about the, like there is an open blockchain and, and then close like a private blockchain, right? There is a different way because uh, the the problem with the open blockchain is because of no governance entity, right? So they want to be completely autonomous. But uh, you know the, they call DAO, yeah, decentralized automotive entity. Or but but uh, but still is is uh, completely uh, DAO establish is very difficult, right? And then there are there are many things, fundamental things you you overcome in many in many different aspects. So so it's a the, some practical ways that you can be some close, right? For example, that the some metaverse is based even even you 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 based on decentralized, for example, decentralized based on like a web three or the like blockchain, but the, who actually the govern this platform, the company generate this one, right? So completely often, completely decentralized is maybe the dream or in the future, right? But in the practical way, there is some way, the practical way to actually implement, right? So, 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 so if you just scroll down, right? Because uh, like uh, the metaverse, Web3, blockchain, equal, it's not, right? And you should be open mind, right? So who knows what will happen in the future? But in the practical way, they can be related, closely related. And then, for example, you want to be used NFT, right? And then, and then NFT, actually, you don't need to be like either the Ethereum or the or other blockchain, you can, you can use it, right? But 
the the NFT is uh, is based on like Ethereum or a blockchain based it's a practical solution. So that's why they they including NFT in the metaverse in the economic system, and then they they naturally that they introduce blockchain system here, and then naturally they're more mostly in the Ethereum based blockchain to NFT, right? So. So you know that is I have a very interesting because recently I I, I tried to uh, invite because I have a two webinar in in this month in 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 the metaverse and then I I try to invite as many people as possible and I I look at it in the LinkedIn and then with the title metaverse I'm look at the, their what their profile because uh, so some people are very focused on means that like their profile of the metaverse is NFT, right? And then blockchain, right? Web3, right? Is I, I found that, that the profile talk about their work, they are in the metaverse, means that means that they are working in at least three, blockchain, NFT, and yeah, and the web3, right? And I, I found that it's a majority, right? And then and then and then also there are another group is uh, like a twenty percent. It's not actually that they don't say like for example they're they're working on FT or the or the like Web three, but they just purely say the metaverse, right? And then some are in between like a metaverse and digital transformation. So that's why that I'm I'm combining the every old aspect. So in the future potential we don't know, but the so so some some say like uh, the mainstream mainstream maybe because uh, in the LinkedIn the the expert is that uh, they say that like a uh, metaverse in any way relate to like uh, NFT and then relate to like uh, for example the Web three because because they they want to be like for example the, who on the money in the metaverse right you you may recently heard about that right because the uh, the meta right in the their their the stock price is decline because it take too much invest in the meta development you know that uh, the, so that's why the recently that the the meta announced that they want to implement nft in their uh, meta, meta horizon because uh, actually the the this is reality that that's why uh, we talk about the est and the profitability the same thing long-term return and the short-term return and the shareholder right the stock market is operated by the shareholder shareholder don't they don't want to wait for long-term return right so it's the same thing in the metaverse that because there are many many people like in the media and that they say oh uh, metaverse has a decline in the value so metaverse is no longer the, like a hot issue the meta metaverse is and no no the the reason is the stock market is operated by the share that they they focus on short term and then the way actually that you have a short term revenue from metaverse now is an nft right cyber currency right that's it right nobody actually to buy you through this purely or some company actually providing platform right and then and then and then for example like uh, you can have uh, some subscription or the, the other way advertisement but the the, the steer is a metaverse platform is all it takes so so why many people are focused on nft because they providing short-term revenue right but in the future it's not so in, in the future will be the more general like a majority will be transit to the the whether there is more value right that's why i'm i'm trying to do in a different view based on my 30 years experience that the nft is not not all right the DeFi is not all decentralization is now all metaverse is more bigger potential and then if you look at the, the other side like you based on physical economic system that we are now right they will be inclusive they will be related they will be more generated more value right and then also they will support the sustainability right that, that's what I, I'm, I'm trying to do I insist that the uh, not just think about the narrow mind in the short term, like a revenue or a short term return or something like that. It's a matter of potential is huge. They can contribute in a better way. Maybe there is a, 
like uh, some uh, like uh, privacy issues, or cyber security issues, or the uh, security issues, something. But that's uh, all the uh, digital that we need to overcome. But in, in any way, I see the huge potential in the metaverse. And then, and then I'm I'm trying to show them the much bigger view, like uh, in the more prospective view that based on my research and analysis. So. Alex, uh, I love the presentation. Um, uh, most people don't understand ESG, yet alone digital transformation, yet alone metaverse. So trying to tie them all three together is uh, obviously really complicated. Um, that being said, the question, a uh, quick comment and then uh, two questions. Um, I'll ask the questions first and then it'll tie into the comment. So does the metaverse create the opportunity for global decoupling? and economic self-sufficiency? Um, that's the question I have. And the reason why I asked that question is, um, I love your talk on the experience economy. I love, I liken it to the, to like a banking experience, right? It's like, you can go to Wells Fargo, you can go to JP Morgan, um, but when you go to the ATM, you just wanna get money, right? But there's like probably 13 processes and offline to online process that needs to occur in order for that whole transaction on a supply chain from end to end to be processed or to happen. Um, and so I'm just wondering, uh, and so I like your points on reinventing the experience. I like your points on the mechanisms to support, for example, getting you know, access to your money. There's multiple system transactions or system technologies that are being used from identity management access uh, to potentially blockchain, to potentially uh, enterprise service bus. So I liken that to DeFi. I liken that to um, blockchain. I liken that to, to other technologies that can be used to configure an overall solution. Um, but what I worry about is, again, that leading to global decoupling and thereby uh, economic self-sufficiency and isolationism. Mm -hmm. um, and so much that folks can then kind of you know, work on their own. If they have consumer-driven economies, they can they can really create a metaverse uh, without really working with the rest of the world. And uh, for me, that's concerning given our global dependencies on, on other markets, especially here in the U.S. So we'll love your thoughts on that. Oh, that's a, that's a hard question to me because I, I didn't think about that, that level. Because you know that because the economy is, means to, to provide some value, right? And then, and then you know that the the, the what the if you think about the like economy in the in the current situation that the, you have a like for example share like a like a, for example uh, sharing economy right because uh, and then also you you may heard about uh, like for example that uh, data economy digital economy and the many economic system has their like their own focus the. Uh, but the, the fundamental thing is uh, the economic system, the economy means that there is a main body or some something the main core that generating value, right? And then and then in the metaverse is I, I look at it as a new opportunity to generating value, and then I call it like a metaverse economy. But in the metaverse economy is uh, somewhat in the sub future. So, uh, so that's what I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do as a more like a near term and then, and then uh, like a experience becomes one example that is a, like a natural transition from the like a service to like a, in the next level. And then, and then I try to, to, to including this, this as a, like a new opportunity utilizing metaverse. But uh, uh, I, yeah, that's that's a difficult question because uh, it's it's like whether whether is economic system is like uh, is uh, driven by the like a uh, customer or like a uh, market needs or the is uh, is uh, driven by the like uh, for example techno technology push like that. So 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 basically, uh, my my maybe the the topic will be the most free like a uh, technology driven time right because uh, because uh, because uh, you know that because. Uh, no, actually, the customer actually they ask about the we need the metaverse, right? Because uh, so so nobody will be said like we need the metaverse economic system, right? So actually, the we provide some new way actually the, to generate the value. So 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 that's why that I'm I'm trying to this one. But in the global level, 
I'm not sure that this will be this will be implemented or not because the metaverse itself is only driven in the in the in the big tech in the eastern country. For example, the metaverse only talk about is a big company and then and then and then most advanced country like the United States and then like the South Korea and the Europe, some of the UK or some of the companies. So at the global level, whether it will be the global level of the economic system or not, but the, yeah. I'm not sure the the correct answer to you. Do you have anything? <laughs> yeah, okay. My, 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 my follow-up is, I guess, to provide clarity on the question is, do, do you foresee, or even if it's postulating, metaverses having a sense of interoperability or dependency on other metaverses? If not, oh, they can then lead to economic oh, self-sufficiency. I see. I see. Interoperability is, uh, is, the, is a big issue, <laughs> right? And then, and then, and then, and they already someone actually the talk about they they working on the interoperability. But even you you know that in the blockchain is it's very difficult to have an interoperability, some interoperability. But uh, I'm not sure that because uh, it's a metaverse means to like uh, it's like multiverse. Like for example, uh, Roblox is one metaverse and then and the decentralized is one metaverse. So it's a meta uh, horizon is one metaverse. Will they, be, will they should be like a complete, like uh, interoperable for the, for the global standard? I'm not sure, right? But, but at least that my economic system is can, without that actually they, they can operate. In, in a some limited descent, because even in the like one metaverse system, you can you can operate in your own way. Maybe that maybe not the universe way. Yeah. Manuel, do you have any comment? Yeah, uh, I, I may add something as you already Alex answered in my question and Marquis, if I understand correctly your question, Marquis, Marquis, uh, starting with the internet too or web two, uh, the separation between countries, the, the dream was of a universal internet. And uh, we see more and more fragmentation and separation, uh, different countries, different, uh, different administrations, and we were not getting into the politics of that. So that separation automatically creates the uh problem from metaverse to be universal because you cannot do it on top of a fragmented uh, now as i think alex explained with web3 on my question if if capital if if uh, we can uh, realize a completely decentralized system which means there is no government and no country that has uh, ultimate control over it then I think metaverse can act as a universal link. But I don't mm. think, I think the dependency of the internet is so strong that once internet is fragmented, you cannot put it together as one uh, mm. entity. Appreciate the thoughts. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a hard question. <laughs> You know, because I, I, I mostly more practical ways actually, the, I'm, I'm interested in the actual implementation is that I, I tended to because I'm, I'm actually the like a innovating technology incubator. My main business is like actually the incubating technology innovation. And then also like a, some, some strategy to developing some new business opportunity or the new business model. So, so actually, I'm, I'm more interested in the, whether the practical ways to implement. That's why the, even my topic is like a very big, like a sustainability and digital transformation and metaverse. But the, my way of approach is actually the, how you can actually realize that work. So I'm going to make this complex system as, as simple as possible that I can do. And then, and then I'm, I'm thinking about the, whether it's a practical way to actually the, to implement this scheme. So that's that's what I'm I'm really trying to do. Yeah, I get I get the practical ways, Alex. Um, the creative destruction makes a lot of sense using like a Peter Shumpert's concept on the digital twin as an example. Mm -hmm. Um, so you're essentially destructing like that's why I use the bank and saying you go to an ATM, but then fintechs are kind of replacing that front end service on that bank. But a lot of people don't realize you need to understand the policies, you need to understand the client experience. 
um, you need to understand the technology journey and integration as it pertains to those two other things. Mm -hmm. um, and so I absolutely get that. Where I was focused, just to give an example, is like, let's just think about the SWIFT system as an example, since it's a hot topic lately. Um, China's developing their own SWIFT system. They're, if they were to actually use technology for their SWIFT system and integrate the latest emerging technologies, they could essentially create a metaverse around this new SWIFT system, right? Which then outdates the current SWIFT system we have. Um, so then it, it, it has the potential to obviously then have a reserve currency uh, that's with CBCDs or other things that they're doing with NFTs or digital currencies um, that could be uh, used obviously around the world uh, more broadly. So I was just wondering if, if the opportunity existed for that, then they could either self-isolate depending on their economy being massive or their, their population being massive uh, whereas other countries couldn't necessarily do the same because they don't have the mass. So I was that's why I was wondering if you saw the metaverse as an opportunity to create uh, global economic decoupling um, as it as just kind of thoughts on it. Obviously, we have we, we both have no clue and many of us don't know. So, uh, mm -hmm. But just interesting and muse on the thoughts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, somebody asked about uh, whether I'm going to share the, the recording. Yes, I'm going to share the recording. I will send the email to you that uh, all the information to where you find the recording and the other additional information. So you don't worry about that. Is there any comment or? So, so I'm going to give you information that uh, at the at the different level, I I I cover many topic already in in the different level. So I will give you the 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 for example in in my like a YouTube site, I have a whole recording in up there and the all the topic in the different level cover today. And there was maybe if you are interested in the future webinar, and then I'm I'm going to to send to you. And then and then the final comment actually the. The, with the metaverse, what I want to develop my metaverse is actually the, um, actually the, I work with the, some uh, UK based, uh, the non-profit non uh, organization, they actually they gather expert in, they have two topics actually, I'm, I'm a representative in the US side, is uh, one is emerging technology, the other is uh, sustainability, I'm, I'm both activities, Two sides of XY that I have. Then we have a webinar series in sustainability and then emerging technology. Emerging technology means a digital twin or the like, for example, metaverse, all the technology like NFT. And then sustainability is we have like, for example, recently we have like a sustainability performance measurement. And then and then 500 like registers for the event. And then also we have like a like a sustainable infrastructure and then sustainable like a product and then also we uh, uh, next we are we planning like a cyber security issues or something so we want to be combined together expertise and then and then and then i suggested that i want to like uh, this community as a metaverse right so so i'm not sure because we we are we are designing and then i'm uh, we need to be sponsored because we are the non-profit and then and then uh uh, what I'm thinking about is like a, like a gather together, like like omnibus, right? Like they gather together, engineers. So let's gather together all the like expert in technology and the sustainability, and then doing a good thing to like improving our earth, our society, joining together and the interact and communicate and then collaborate for the our metaverse system, collaborate metaverse system that that I want because I found that because of, for example the last. Uh, actually, the yesterday, in the there was a, a expo, we, we assume that there are all experts in sustainability, and then their question was that I'm very diverse and the diversity, right? And then uh, we cannot any any focus. Uh, some people think about uh, the sustainability this way, this way, this way. I think the metaverse will be the same thing. Some people uh, think about this way, this way, this way. So, so I, I want to the combining them and have some some fo focus way to like discourse and then have some 
good things to have a knowledge sharing and then provide and contributing to society through this metaverse platform. That's, that's I'm dreaming and that's my project of this year, but I'm not sure, but uh, I, I welcome whether you are interested in, in, in that kind of activities and I, I, I welcome you to join in my, in my effort. Okay, so. And uh, so, morning. Um, my name is uh, uh, Eng Han. Uh, Alex, I have a question. I must apologize because I was having some trouble joining earlier. I, I went on the Google Meet instead of uh, the Zoom, but uh, I caught up halfway. I, I wanted to ask, uh, because you have a very interesting topic on sustainability and metaverse, right? Uh, and you did explain about metaverse. Uh, from your perspective, I think that's you know, a great talk. Um, I just wonder, because metaverse uses a lot of um, technologies relating to blockchain and NFTs and et cetera. So as you know that, you know, blockchain and M NFTs are energy guzzlers, right? So yeah. how do you reconcile both of them? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, that's that's a good question because uh, I'm not I'm because I, for example the, even digital in general right they consume energy right for example data center right and then and then and the expert in in that in that area actually already know it for example that uh, I, I will show you that the some uh, recent trend for for example that Bitcoin is a, is an animal right a consumer of the energy right it generate carbon right it's anti anti like uh, environment and then and then and then I heard about that recently in the for hedge fund so uh, like a buy some like uh, like unused like a plant in the United States and then they use that as a, like a that power plant as a generating for the like Bitcoin mining or something like that it was a there's an issue in the in the near society, and also uh, so 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 there is some activities like for example like Ethereum uh, version two is a way to actually avoid the huge amount of like resource of the electricity because of the 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 for example blockchain technology is uh, the they they consume electricity because of the their mining system why they do mining because they want to be decentralized and then everybody can join and then they want to avoid like uh, bad actors maybe you know well so there isn't any central authority so so it's uh, in the fundamental level that that's why that they consume all the or all of the electricity because of that the scheme. So there is some activities that like for example, they, they, they want to improvement like a, the like a consensus algorithm to like a better way to like a saving electricity in the mining process. Also, there is a many different ways of like operating blockchain system doing that. And at the legal level that uh, whether you're in the data center, the, they also, for example, Google data center, they already uh, like implementing like AI based, like controlling optimization over their way, waste of the like uh, the electricity or the waste of the like, uh, like water or something like that. So, and then uh, as far as I know that there is a like a green digital infrastructure initiatives uh, is uh, there is a like industry consortium in, in the United States and then they are working together to how to save the you know, like uh, electricity use or how to save your resources and how to reduce your carbon footprint based on like uh, some more advanced top advanced technology of the so they use digital technology to save like uh, to make more sustainable in the digital technology right so so there are many many activities and then and then expertise and then, and then companies know about the issues and then they will be resolved it in in some way. Yeah, so I'm I'm aware that there are efforts to uh, reduce the carbon footprint, but the carbon footprint is actually very large, right? So I think there are estimates like, for example, I'm just reading here, Ethereum and Bitcoin mining together responsible for emitting more than 78 million tons of CO2 into the atmosphere every year. Yeah. And that's equal to like, you know, emission of 15.5 of million cars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I also understand like, for example, Intel recently announced that they're going to come out with uh, newer chips that are geared towards, uh, you know, crypto mining. So that will help to reduce, but 
it will still, and uh, with the encouragement and you know growth of metaverse, all this is gonna explode, right? Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the energy usage. So I'm just wondering when you talk about ESG, then what is the plan, right? Towards uh, carbon zero, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that that's not my friend because uh, it's a, it's a, for example, in the in the big big tech companies, uh, uh, they need to be the understanding that you. But yeah, yeah, there is a there is a, they already know about it, and there is a, some expert claim that we need to take care of that the matters. So so, but I think compared to, maybe the compared to because there is always trade off, right? Is compared to for example that. Compared to benefit, right? Benefit and cost model, like for example, that uh, if you're like uh, using the digital technology to to reduce the carbon emission, or whether like uh, to have for the sustainability, and then contrary to the, like uh, like uh, for example, using using this digital technology to contribute to the this, this sustainability in, in a negative way, and then still is a positive is uh, is bigger than in the negative. So that's why that we we we're looking at that one. And then also, yeah, it, it may be yeah fantastic that we can also like a further effort to make make this one. And then and then as far as you know is uh, that's not a simple answer that I can give you because uh, there are many, many different type of aspects that we need to think of. But uh, if if you look at just to look at the design, right, I, I know that the, uh, there are many activities uh, is going on and then for example, in the like a very detailed level, they even they reduce their like for example in the AI guys uh, that I, I recently I've 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 seen the many activities like uh, how actually they reduce their their like energy use and then through the for example their deep learning because deep learning uh, need a lot of the the like uh, computing cost or something like that so. So in in the in the like a uh, detail level, there are many activities going on, and then blockchain and also like Ethereum two two point zero about uh, know about that. Yeah, Bitcoin, I don't know because uh, is is uh, some some United States for example, there is a, some some there I think about whether uh, the there really some government interest about the uh, Bitcoin or not, but yeah. It's, so that's not that's not the uh, 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 at this time we have a solution a uh, light way if the bitcoin bitcoin is is completely in a good way is a it's good experimenter of the decentralized finance right uh, without any authority in a good purpose but in a in a in a negative side is like I'm not sure whether for me as a what is the purpose of bitcoin for for what right. But anyway, so yeah, we need to to yeah, get together to think about that issue. That's that's why I wanna wanna have some like uh, like a global expert, the professionals uh, like a like a uh, a gathering in the metaverse to discuss about that kind of topic. But I, I'm an individual, so <laughs> how I can do that? <laughs> yeah, no worries, Alex. I think that's the point that we should. Uh, create awareness that this is an aspect which needs to be taken into account when you talk about growing uh, into metaverse as well. Yeah, I think we want progress, but at the same time, we want to make sure that uh, we really take the issue of uh, carbon zero or even carbon negative, right, as uh, seriously as possible. Because if you don't have a future, you don't have a metaverse, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, you don't have a future for the world. You don't have a metaverse, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah, in the global scale, yeah, that's, yeah, that's true, yeah. So uh, I think that the Kenneth, uh, prov Kenneth Wong provide a very uh, valuable insight. So why don't, you, why don't you explain about your comment? Hi, thank you very much. Uh, awesome presentation, first of all, and uh, thank you. For, it's a very uh, informative presentation, and we are indeed getting a lot. Uh, just to elaborate a little bit more on my points, um, as one of one of the ways that I see the the use of metaverse and the use of our blockchain technology as whether how are we going to attract further green financing into the into the application of, for example, green tech 
green projects is, for example, on the solar projects is, wind projects is, all these are green, what we call the carbon uh, reduction type of, uh, type of a project is, or investments is. Uh, some of the trends that I've seen so far is uh, we are seeing people are actually uh, digitalizing the, uh, the in, their investment into uh, these kind of uh, uh, green assets. Is. Uh, for example, solar projects, is, we have seen people trying to break it down into a, a smaller portion in terms of their investment to attract some of the public participations into these uh, uh, industries. Uh, in that way, we are, we are actually encouraging more people to uh, use uh, green technology rather than using the uh, coal-fired coal fire, uh, or uh, carbon-intensive uh, uh, energy productions. Uh, Maybe that's one of the way that we can actually have a better utilization or better way to dip ourselves into the metaverse technology and also into the blockchain technology. Of course, I mean, we are still scratching the surfaces of how are we going to better utilize the, the technology itself. But uh, I'm sure green financing and also lowering the uh, barriers for investing into these kind of uh, green purchases is some of the things that we can actually do and can be offered as one of the uh, solutions. So I'm um, just trying to uh, express some of the, the works that I've been, I've been doing with right now. Oh yeah, that's, that's a very good point. Uh, actually, the, the, I'm, I'm also organized uh, next month about the like, uh, sustainable financing event. So I will give you some information about that you can participate. You know, the, but the, the, also financing, the, the green financing or the green bond or the, some of the sustainable financing, like, uh, in the like name title, it also have a, you may have heard about recently in the United States have a, some some problem with like for example that many like a finance institution name their their fund as a green right and then they they call it a greenwashing in the financing system and then and then and then the so government interrupt and then they run that because. Uh, because they they just just make their name as a green it's not means that actually that they contribute is in the sustainability so so financing area is also the hard issue and then we need to discuss and resolve that that one so maybe it will be interesting that the kind of topic you know? yeah that will be interesting because have we like you said we've seen uh a lot of uh, so-called green financing tools right now but there's no uh, a really standardized uh on how we're going to define green bonds or green financing, what kind of things that we need to achieve in order in order to meet the criteria as being a green financing tools. Um, we have seen countries or even the EU are trying to uh, define some of these uh, 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 what we call requirements. But uh, so far, we've we haven't seen an universal adopted standard. So uh, I think it will be interesting to see what the development is like and how are we going to attract more people participating in the industry rather than uh, only by some of the uh, larger institutional investors. So uh, mm -hmm. I think it will be easier for someone like you and me or someone like a like a more layman participation on a community base so that we can actually together the drive for the uh, development into the green fact into the green green industry and green projects and 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 make it make the uh, the concept of smart city more viable mm -hmm. uh only, if it's only for the commercial participation I, I'm, I'm afraid that uh, we can only do so much without the participation from the community um the government uh, uh, is not going to move a lot mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, that, that's what actually the uh, I provide some some way to like a the combining NFT uh, like a DeFi is is a is, a, is a not not institutional maybe the like a, for example maybe uh maybe the there may be some legal bond in whether uh, like a, like a, for example like a, uh just consumers can can invest or not not uh, without any like institutional investment but the. That's that's where actually the, we can increase our uh, green fund through this metaverse system. So that that may be the another topic we can we can think about. And then also, as a, my personally, I'm I, I'm I'm mostly involved in the performance measurement. In for example, the green green financing or the impact investment. Whether whether actually the the, the that proposal is to doing a good thing, right, to our environment or not, but the to be like uh, to achieve the the proposed actually the, they they need to exactly 
were some way the rigorous way to measure the like uh, like outcomes of an impact, right? And then still, I, I found that we are we are not that yet. From my my understanding, that's why that I I want to like uh, using digital technology to make a more transparent way and more effective way to measure the performance. So that that's why that for example that uh, if you if there is a clear view that uh, your money is a green fund used for the like uh, utilize the money to be the actually impact for the like uh, make improvement to your like our environment and then and then more people will be like uh, get attention and then more people will be like uh, interesting in, in the financing in in the green fund or something like that so so we also need that kind of effort to make green fund is more overspread and will be more better like uh, uh, like a response from the like uh, the the general public or some some of the investors or some of the the invested companies. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, just my just was one last point. Um, I've seen uh, people here in Hong Kong trying to develop uh, solar related uh, uh, bitcoins. Uh, uh, solar project related bitcoins how are we going to utilize these kind of assets this is actually uh in the development right now uh but uh but i've also seen them not only including the uh private uh, not only the commercial sector participating in their projects but they are trying to lower the cost so that they can actually have some of the uh, private sector to participate as well. So um, we've seen development, we've seen people trying to do uh, the right way, but uh, it seems like there's still a lot of ways, but there's a lot of uh, uh, works to be done ahead of us and um, and uh, making it universally acceptable, perhaps something is something that we can think about because I mean, the, the whole the whole technology, the whole metaverse and the blockchain technology is to lower the barrier costs and to lower lower all of the uh, procedures so that more people can actually participate in a smaller portions. So uh, I appreciate the uh, the topics and it seems like it's going to uh, uh, there's still a lot of development going ahead of time. That oh, was. Yeah. Wow, because we already passed. Like 45 minutes more. <laughs> wow. Is this, is this audience, like today's audience is uh, very active. Yeah. Uh, I, I think the South Korea is, uh, is already past their the launch time. <laughs> okay. So uh, it was a pleasure to, to have a discussion with your fantastic, like your uh, like audience. And then, and then I, I thanks everyone to participate and then stay here for much longer past of the like a, the one hour hour time limit. And then, and then I hope to you have a like a good time. And then I will share uh, every information to you in in a separate email. So thank you everyone. And then, and then take care and then have a nice day. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye-bye, thank you very much.